Okay, so now let's look into the uh, catch mapping. The first one I'm going to look at is the uh, direct mapping. So in the direct mapping dimensions, the characteristic is that each block of a main memory will map to one unique line of catch only. So every blocks of a memory will only go into a specific line only. They won't go to other lines. So each block of memory, when they bring in, they should go to a specific unit of line. They cannot go to the second, uh, the other lines. They only can fit into one of the unique line. We will look at what this means in the uh, following examples. <coughs> okay, so the uh, if the processor want to access a certain locations in your memory, so let's say you don't access address location number thirty. So if you convert it to binary, is one 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 and zero okay in the uh, direct mapping the address will break into three parts which is the tag the line numbers and the last one is a w or they call it as an offset okay normally they call it as a w so the nine number is r then the tag is straight away using the tag so let's say in this example address number 30 they are divided into this form one this is w this is the line number and this is the uh, tag okay so let's say i want to uh, access this address locations so the first thing the uh, microprocessor will do is they will straight away go to this line r they will straight away go to this line in your catch line 7 in your catch so they will go to line 7 in the catch so let's say this is your line 7 for example they will go to line 7 to check the tag whether this tag is same as the tag you want to access is it a one or, or other numbers if it's not one then miss means the data is not there it's a miss because this uh in direct mappings there's only one line for one block of data they are specific if they are not at least this line means the data is not in here so you don't need to go to second line other lines to check because this data since they are at line 7 so they are only able to fit into this line only. they won't go to other line there's no possibility for them to locate it at other line of your catch right so if the tag is not matched at this line then mean it's a miss so if let's say they check the tag then the tag is one here means you get a hit so if you get a hit they will come to the next stage which is using the w to select the uh, data you want because one block of the data is consists of more than one words okay so it may consist uh, address location 30 31 like that so you need to check the w only you can know which data you want to access is the data 30 then they will bring up the data 30 to here to send it to your cpu so this is the process of how this uh, uh, direct mapping happens and how they access the catch so now we're going to look into one of the examples of the uh, direct mapping. In this example, assume that uh, this is your RAM, this is your memory, okay? Let's say your memory has 32 locations, okay? Your RAM has uh, 32 locations. Then your catch is only half of the size only. Your catch is only half of the size, which is uh, 16 locations only, right? So since I have a 32 uh, address in my RAM so the address uh, in terms of bits will be have a uh, 5 bits as the one in, in 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 here right the one in here showing so this is the 5 bits of address start from 000, 000 equals to uh, address 0 up to uh, 1111 equals to the last address 31 so the total have 32 locations right then the next one we will need to decide how we divide the uh, block size in one block of a uh, uh, data how many words we want to put in how many data i want to put in so now i have 32 data and 32 lines here so in this example i, I divide them into two uh, two data in one block so you can see the, the yellow color here this is considered one block so i have block zero here so this is one block then this is another block so in total my memory will break into divided into uh, 15 blocks okay so uh, I have a uh, 5 bits of data right I have a uh, 5 bits of data 
so the last bit will be used to define w okay so the last bit is w so i have one bit used as w <coughs> okay so now means uh, one block i have a uh, two data right in one block block zero block one block two in one block i have a uh, two data i can put in i will put in two data right data location 0 1 data location 0 2 and 3 so this is one block i have a two data then I, from this point i can divide the catch into the number of lines possibility so i have a 16 locations in my catch then they told me one block i should have a two uh, data right so i will divide it to two 16 divided by two i will get Eight. So this 8 is meaning I will have uh, 8 lines of in my catch. So from there I can get the R number, how many number of bits I should have. So at the end you can see I will have 8 blocks, 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, eight, eight lines in, in my catch. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I have total 7 lines in my catch. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 here. So I have total 8 lines in my catch. Then the final, uh, so it means I have 3 bits here. So I may have 5 bits available. So the last bit will use as the tag number, right? So this is how you uh, design the catch based on how many uh, storage you have. I have 32 locations in my, in my RAM. Then I only have 16 locations in my catch. Then the next step is to define one block, the block size of your uh, uh, RAM, right? One block, you want to put how many data? So let's say you want to say, uh, I want to say uh, one block, I need to put uh, four data. Okay, I want to put four data in one block. So the W shouldn't, shouldn't be only one bit because you want the W will, will use to choose from the data out of the block. So I need two bits as w so at the end i need to make it become this two will become the w so only my w have zero one two and three then only i can select from there but in the examples i only break them into two okay if let's say i break them into four what happened if one block equals to four data then you're just using 16 line divide by four you will get four lines only so at the end the same this is your w then you have zero line line one line two and uh, line three so the same thing you have four lines in your uh, catch only then the final bit will be your tag number so this is what's the meaning of direct mapping how you divide them based on the block size so the block size should be the same as your uh, uh, line size all right then from there you can see uh, so let's go back to the uh, two lines two address location example okay so this is our example so let's say now this is the conditions in my catch okay this is the data uh, store this is just uh, examples of uh, address location eh? so it doesn't mean this data is storing inside my catch this is just to let you know uh, what address locations uh, the data at what address location is inside my catch so let's say uh, the data in the in the memory is uh, a b c d so the data is uh, something like that uh, okay uh, k l Okay, this is the data supposed in the memory in, in store in your RAM. Last example, this is all the data. It, it may be any, any numbers of data or any any value of data, but in uh, just let you know, this is this should be a data, and this is just the address locations of this data. So data A is stored at address location zero 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 zero. So now I'm telling you that this is the address of uh, the data inside your catch. So means inside a catch is storing uh, from location 00 up to uh, 0, 
one 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 so which is this whole thing is stored inside your inside your catch okay so example uh, so this is the thing stored inside your catch uh, so let's say we continue uh, maybe random number uh, okay so, so, so let's say yo And uh, this is a number nine eight seven six. Just just uh, a data store inside. Okay, so this is data. So let's say in 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 one moment, my processor want to access locations uh, to want to get this value as into my processor. So they need to access these locations one zero zero one zero. So in uh, direct mappings, when they want to access a certain locations, what they do? They will go to check which what line is this data. Okay, so let's say they want to uh, get this uh, value s. So they will check this data is belongs to line zero zero one. So they will go to your so they will go to your uh, they will go to your catch here and look at the line number zero zero one. So means which means they will go to line number one. This line. Then the next step, what they do? They will check the tag. My tag is one here, so I should check whether the tag is one or not. Then they check. No, this is not the one. So this tag is belong as uh, is zero here. So the data for sure, the data is not inside the catch. Okay. By doing this way, they can know that the data is inside or not. Okay. So means the data is not there. So what they need to do? They need to put this data out from the catch. Then they sort in this block of data. Okay, so this is the only way to do the replacement in direct mapping because this block of data is only can fit into line one because they are belongs to line one. They cannot fit into other lines because this is line zero, this is line two, line three, line four, five, six, and seven. So they cannot go to other line. They only can go into this line one. So it's very simple. When my data is not in this line, so what I need to do is I need to sort out this thing. So I need to sort out this data. C and D I need to pull out from the catch. So the, the C and D is gone. So this is empty catch now. Then the next thing they do is they will bring in this value in. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. They will bring in uh in this value so now the catch is belongs to this value here so now the data is already stored in is equal to s and t so this is an example then the tag is basically stored together with this data all this thing is not stored the thing will store with this data beside the data is just the tag so the tag will store it here store beside the data inside your memory inside your catch sorry inside your catch okay so this is how they do the swapping. Okay. So let's say the next data on the access is they want to access a uh, K, right? Then what they do? First thing, they go to the line belongs to this K in the catch. So let's say this is a uh, line 101. Then they will go to a catch line 101, which is line 5. They will check it here. They will check the tag. Is it the same as the tag of your K value? Then the check yes it's the same so they know that this k for sure is inside your catch now because the tag is matched and in the line five so the next step is to get the w so they will get the w zero so they will check which uh, they will get the w access the location zero to get the values k right so this is how they access the uh, catch the first thing they will go to the line then they'll check whether the tag is a match or not match if not match it means it's a miss then you need to sort out directly this data out and bring in the data you want into this line so this is how they do the uh, direct mapping okay but there is one disadvantage in this direct mapping for example let's say i want to access a uh, I want to access values uh, uh, G. I want to access value G and uh, value 
W. I want to access these two values continuously. Uh, the 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 processors want to access uh, G and W continuously. So they want to access G, W, G, W. So they want to access it in this sequence. I want to access, get G from my RAM. I want to get W from my RAM. I get G again and get W again. So what happened? Let's see what happened. So let's say I want to access G. Then I will go to line uh, 3, right? Then I will go to line 3. Uh, let, let me cancel all this thing. Okay. Uh, I will go to... Uh, You will go to I want to get G and a W right, so I'll go to line three, which is this this line right. Then I'll check the tag is zero. Yes, the tag is here it's zero. So my data is inside there. Then you'll go to location W zero. If they will go to W and get the G values. Okay, so now the G is go into a processor. So after that, they want to access. Uh, they want to get the values W. So then they will check the line. So they, they found it is it the same line. Line 3 again. So they will go to line 3 and check the tag. Here is 0 but my tag is 1. So it means the data is not there. So they have to, what they need to do? The only way is to sort out this data because this W is only able to fit into line 3. So that's why no choice. I have to sort the data out. They will sort the data out. So now the values here become W and X. But after this access, I want to access G again, right? So they need to go to line 3 and check the tag is 1. Then my tag is 0. So it's a miss again. So I need to sort out this value again. So they need to sort out this value again. Okay, they need to sort out this value again. So this process is going to be repeat and repeat again if you keep on re accessing this in this sequence. Right, they will sort it to G and H. They only they get the data. So you need to keep on sort and sort if you are accessing the same lines of a data. Okay, you are accessing the same line of data from the RAM. So this is the disadvantage of direct mapping. You need to keep on sort in and sort out. It takes a lot of times. So they are, they would like to find out some ways to solve these problems. So they figure out that's a better way is to have more than one lines in the uh, uh, catch so that you can uh, fit in uh, more than one line one blocks in the, uh, the, the catch line okay so how they do it is to use the uh, set associative method so we are going to go into the set associative to see how they solve this problem the uh, set associative so let's see how they solve the problem we're facing in direct mapping in the uh, set associative. Okay. Okay. If you still remember, just now in direct mapping, the tag is only one bit, the line is a three bit, and the W is one bit. So what they need to do if they want to make it become a uh, more than one blocks can put into the uh, uh, the the catch the the same number so it's now G and W right so just now this is a line number three and this is line number three so what they need to do is they shift one bit the in extra one bit into the tag so now there's a two bit in the tag and here's a two bit in the tag then they will still have the same uh, uh, D number which is the set number. Okay, set number three. So now they call it as a set instead of a line number, because in the uh, set they are able to store more than uh, one blocks of data. So now they break it into uh, four set only. Okay, zero one two three set zero one two three zero one two three and zero one two three. So this is the set numbers. So they have zero one two three only. Okay. Uh, basically in here should be still the same uh. this is a block should be using a block number uh, if you want since this should be in the because in the RAM it still is a block numbers but this just to let you uh, have the concept that this is uh, belong to set 0 set 1 set 2 set 3 if they want to put it into the catch okay so now my uh, uh, catch is put it as a set number so this is set 0 
right? If you can see, this is set 0, this is set 1. In binary, as 0, 1, set 1. 1, 0 is set 2. 1, 1 is set 3. Then, if you notice, now in one set, I'm able to put in two blocks of data, right? I can put in two blocks of data. So now this is what we can do. So let's the, the same thing GW GW access. Right? Then I want to access G. I will go to a set tree. Right? Go to set tree here again. So again, go to set tree here and check uh, the tag. So now uh, since I have two lines in I have two lines, uh, I have two blocks or two lines in the catch in, in this set tree now. Okay, so at the end I need to check two times the tag. So I check the first tag one zero. Is it match with my tag here zero zero? No, that's not match. Then one one here. Is it match with my match with, with my with my tag? No, it's also not. So now come the problems. Whether which line I should swap out. So this is the this is the problems of a uh, uh, set associative. You need to consider. Now I have two lines here. But it is not what the data I want. It's not G. It's not H in the, the data I want. It's not this 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 uh block of data. I want to access this block, but they are not in here. The the data in here is a twenty two and twenty three, and so it's a it's a, it's a W and W and okay. So let's make it smaller. Okay. It's a W and uh, X. Then 30, 31 is uh, 4 and 2, right? 30, 31 is here, 4 and 2. Okay, so this is the data and the catch. So now I need to uh, select one line of the data to be pulled out from the catch, from this set tree, so that I can bring in this uh, G into my catch, this block into my catch. So at the end, you still need to look at the replacements policy. The one we will discuss in the next uh, section, which is the replace replacement policy. So now just make it simple. Let's say we just randomly pick one data out. So I, I bring out this, uh, bring out this 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 block. Okay, bring out the bottom block. So I, I will copy this. So I will bring in this thing and come into here and put it in here. Right. So the data here will become. G and H. Then the next one, they will they will go and check. They want to access W again. Then they will go and check set three. Set three is here, right? They go and check set three. So set three is here. Then they check the uh, the tag one zero whether it's here. So they check the first tag one zero. Oh, the data is inside. So means the tag is matched. So your data is inside. Then they will go to check get the W, uh, which is zero here. So they will go to zero and they will get the W data. Then they come to G again. They will go to set three again, set three and check the tag. So they will come to the first one tag again. They check one zero is it match? My tag is zero zero, so not match. They will go to the second line, zero zero check it's a match. So it means my data is here. They will go to get the W zero, so they will get your G. So by doing this way, I'm able to put in two blocks of data which is have the same uh, uh, set numbers into the the same set. So now I can able to get GW, GW without keep on swapping as what we happen in the diagram mapping. Because diagram mapping, they only have one line into one, uh, one block into one line locations. But now the block can put into any two lines in this set. So now I have a two lines in a one set, right? So I can put in my my uh, block G or block W into any of these lines. So I can access these two at the cache together at the same time, right? So this is this this is the advantage of set associative. But uh, do you do you do you see the disadvantage? The main disadvantage is that instead of compare one time the tag. In here, you need to compare two times, right? Since now you have two lines, you need to compare two times. Just now in diagram mappings, in the diagram mappings, I just compare one time. If the data is there, then if true, it will have a match. If not, then it will just a miss directly. I can get to know whether the data is inside or not. 
but in set associative it depends on how many lines if let's say now i have a more than a two uh two lines i need to check two times and if i have three lines one set i need to check three times so it depends on how many lines you have okay so in this is the the set associative so in in, in sometimes uh, let's say i want to access more than uh, uh, three data which is at the same set number so let's say i want to access uh, this data also o okay so let's say i want to access data o also i want to access g w o g w o okay g w g w okay so this is the thing they want to access so now we know that the g and w is already in here right so just make it simple and fast uh, the g and w is already here so i'm able to access g and w get a hit then the next one is o so they will look at the set 3 so they go to set 3 and check the tag 0 1 check the first tag is it 0 1 no it's a miss then is it the next line is it 0 1 it's still a miss so now what happened i need to swap in the 0 into here and bring either one of this block out okay so if this thing happened then i need to i need more lines in the same set so what they can do so they can just increase the tag number okay so now comes the uh, full associative which give you the full freedoms that or any lines they just have the tag only right so they will put the whole thing into a tag only okay in the full associative they don't have the set number they don't have the line numbers they're just very simple so let's say i have five bits of uh, address right in this system i have five bits 32 uh, location five bits now they told you the block size is a uh, two data only right so i need one bit as w only w equals to one bit so one bit as a w then the rest will be the tag so i have four bits as a tag Okay, so in here this is the tag then this is the w right so very simple i can put in the data in any 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 lines here so this is they, they still is they still consider as a line eh? so uh, this is still uh, line one line two line three or oh, i put it uh, zero one two three four five six seven they still have eight lines here right but now they don't need to care about the line numbers so let's say i i i, I, I copy the data here full associative now they want to access a g o and w right so i i, I let's say i want to access a g i will bring this data and put it in any lines any line one so in full associative the same thing you you still need the replacement policy you need to know which data you stop up so if they want to access g what they do they will check the tag so what happened is that i need to check every single tag i need to check the first first line tag is it match with my tag here zero zero one one the, for the g so i need to check whether which tag is equal to zero zero one one this is not this is not zero zero one one then come yeah my data is here so it should be somewhere this is my data right KL okay, and then zero one one zero okay so this is how they do so I, I, will, I will need to check all the tag at, at the end only I get my G is here so then I, I go to W zero to get my uh, data G to my processor then if let's say I want to get a W, then I will need to check the tag 1011. Check every one again. Is 1011 here? If not, then I need to swap one line out and bring this line in, this block in. So at the end, by using full associative, I'm able to put G, W, and 0, G, W, and O into the full associative because you can use any line here to store any values, right? So it gives you more freedoms to put the data in the catch. But uh, the, the disadvantage is that whenever they get a, with, uh, a data, you need to check one by one the tag, right? 
So if let's say your data is located in the last tag, then you need to check until the last tag only you get the data you want. So it depends it depends on the requirement of system or how the designer want to make your catch. And uh, the 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 what the uh characteristics of your programs whether they are more to uh, use the match with the uh, you will get a more uh, hit in by using direct or a more hit by using a, a full associated or set associated it depends on the system requirements so this is just to let you know you have a uh, three types of uh, mapping direct set associative and full associative so you can see from the direct you are only can fit into one line in your catch right then they found out that oh this is not good enough if i want to have a two data which is have the same line numbers so they go to the set of objective so they shift one bit of the tag into so you have two bit but then you have a lesser set numbers set one two three only zero one two three instead of a lines eight lines now you have a three set but in one set you have a two lines so at the end you, you are still have eight lines but now they are only referring to a set number so in one set you are able to put in two blocks of data so this is still not enough then you just use all of that as a as a as a tag so you get a fully associative uh, mapping so this is line zero then the second one is a line one line two line three okay so the disadvantage you need to check more times of tag whenever you want to uh, check whether data is inside a catch or not so this is a different three uh, catch mapping method available okay